All right, guys, so we are getting a very unexpected event. We are getting back-to-back -back Zenkais. Last week, we got Sagas from the movies Goku Zenkai, and now we are getting Ultimate Gohan from the Majin Buu Saga Zenkai. So this character here is definitely a fan favorite. A lot of people um, have a lot of memories with this character, you know, um, and he's, he's really cool too. He does have a uh, instant transmission cover change. So that's really cool. Let's just really quick read what he does and what this means for Dragon Ball Legends and what else we can expect. And by the way, I will be coming out with more leaks in just about one hour from now. So it's going to be a back to back post. So make sure you guys have those notifications on to always be informed with everything Dragon Ball Legends. So guys, let's not waste any time. It says here, Ultimate Gohan's Zenkai Awakening is coming. Get ultimate damage up and reduce enemies' sustained damage. Cut effects with ultimate arts. Plus, unlock all his uniques to get Dragon Ball. Interesting. And Shorn own substitution count when enemy uses a rising rush. So that is also very interesting because, like I said, this does play a huge part uh, in one of his uh, abilities, which is instant transmission, which we'll dissect in just one bit his movesets. And excuse the siren coming in the background, by the way, guys. Um, so, yeah, I mean, get get Dragon Ball. That's that's very interesting. Um, and with all this, you know, Saiyans, hybrids, Sun family buffs, I'm very, very shocked we have yet to get a big bad, such as a Majin Buu character, which I still think we're going to get a all-star banner in the very near future. Uh, but, guys, let's just check this character out really quick. This is him. Uh, fully maxed out level 5,000, 14 stars. He is a melee type unit. Let's just read his stats real quick. His blast attack. Oh my gosh, his stats are so bad. So a lot of stuff needs to be done with this character. So for starters, uh, he's a not a defensive type of unit. Like I said, he's a melee type unit. But still, only 219 blast attack is 100% a joke. Uh, this needs to be bumped up to at least 240. That's what his strike attack is currently at right now. I predict it's up to 275 after Zenkai. Um... Strike defense and blast defense both at 145, 144, which is still very low. I predict this as well as around 160, give or take. Um, you know, like I said, it, it's funny reading these characters' kits because just take a look at this. This is everything, right? So a lot needs to be done to these very old characters besides just stats in itself um, because some of these abilities still don't even work in today's meta. But let's just have a read uh, real quick, guys. I, I honestly do not know what this character does. I haven't played with him in like years so let's just have a quick read and let's let's also see what he's going to buff with his Zenkai ability because it has to be hybrids right it doesn't need to be Majin Buu Saga or Sun Family that that wouldn't really make any sense hybrids would be the go-to and of course the Dragon Ball Super Superhero movie is looming in the very near future so right here main ability is draw the ultimate arts card burst rush next plus one amount to cover rescue can be used okay so if you guys remember he does have cover rescue which is actually this is this is very interesting so right here as you guys can see one of his unique abilities is called cover rescue it says here reduces zero damage when cover changing for the first time available during assist plus 20 percent to strike damage inflicted for 15 time accounts and plus five to own substitution count when activated so this is very similar to like the for example right the uh I don't know, the uh, any character like, for example, Android 21, Super Saiyan 3, Goku, where they come in, instant transmission, or like the old school yellow perfect cell, and just save and rescue the, the units. Uh, so this is actually a very good ability upon his main ability as well, but his main ability need, needs a lot more, and this this does take 25 timer counts to have passed. So plus, you, you have to really time this, to be honest with you guys, uh, because you want to make sure you have, I, I'm not sure if it stacks, I forgot if it stacks, but make sure you guys use your cover rescue first and then use your main ability. But I'm very curious to see what else you're going to add to this main ability because th this just cannot be it in itself. Like you can't have this main ability just by itself. So yeah, also um, his other passive is over here, fool, which is what he says to boo, which is hilarious. I really hope we get a boon down the line uh, very soon, which might be an all-star banner, which is what I'm predicting. But uh it says here, the following effects occur when this character evades enemies' attacks when vanish stepping. Draw a special arts card next, activates twice, plus 20% damage inflicted for 20 timer counts. So his uh, his green card is uh, potential unleashed. The following effects occur based on the number of times special arts card potential unleashed is used. So if you use this card once, it's 40% to strike damage. Twice is 30% to own key recovery. 
three times is plus 40% to blast damage and 30% to special move damage inflicted. And in four cards onward is all the same, which is restores own key by 50 and cancels own attribute downgrade. So, um, um, very interesting. I mean, honestly, nothing too special here. He does buff uh, hybrids and sun family blast attack up to 35%. Like I said, really nothing too interesting here. It's very bare bone. There's not much we can expect, but this might be a hint for a early, who knows, right? A Dragon Ball Super Superhero collaboration, maybe August or Black Friday. That's that's my prediction. I don't predict anything in between. I don't see this collaboration happening like a random September. That just wouldn't make any sense to me. But to be honest, you never know. Like, for example, sometimes I'm right, sometimes I'm wrong. I was wrong about a double Zenkai upload back to back. Um, yeah, they, they, they do this in very rare occasions. Um, I'm still surprised we haven't gotten the minions, uh, you know, <laughs> Raspberry and the Freezer Forces gang. That is still what I'm kind of predicting, uh, perhaps because, and we'll find out, like I said, in just about 30 minutes from now, and I'll double upload real quick. But, uh, you know, if, if, for example, we just get this battle gauntlet, then what? right? We get a battle gauntlet and then what else are we going to get? We have to get something else, some kind of event because I've mentioned this before in, in previously, right? We're going to get the raid as well. That's something we are going to get, but um, I've mentioned this before um, on my on my uh, Twitter that, you know, if you just take a look at everything that's ending, it's pretty much 99% of the events. So we are guaranteed two events, which is battle gauntlet and as well as raid, the raid, which is really good. It's a really good event, the raid, but um, you know, we have nine events ending currently, right? Which is the whole anniversary for the most part, or the first two parts, which is the extreme battle, the greatest showdown, let's go universe seven, uh, this, you know, free to play Goku's event right here in the end, uh, Zenkai rush is going to get reset. We all know that. Um, and like I said, I'll come out with more leaks, uh, in just one bit. Um, and the adventures is actually going to get extended. Uh, so is tournament of power and PVP is going to get reset. And as well as three banners are going to end in uh, this MUI Goku and Dragon Fist Goku banner. So I really hope these banners do come back um, in the very near future. And they don't take too long to make these banners come back. Because, you know, if you just take a look at Sword of Hope Trunks, he has yet to be seen. I, I don't, maybe he's been in one banner. I'm not quite sure. But, uh, you know, he, he hasn't been around in about seven to eight months. And that sucks because the unit value really just drops off after that. So I hope they just come back like every four months. I think that's kind of reasonable. For example, Bardock has been a the LF Bardock has been a very long time. I decided to skip on that banner, uh, you know, because the anniversary is down the coming coming up down the line. Um, and it was a good skip to be honest, because that Bardock isn't that good, but he's still a very solid, solid unit. Um, and I would love to still pull for that unit. So hopefully down the line, all these units come back. But yeah, guys, uh, stay tuned on my Twitter and here on my YouTube with those notifications because I will be coming out with another video in a very short amount of time, like 30 minutes from now. So uh, to see exactly what we're going to get for tonight's weekly reset update. Um, so yeah, if you did enjoy the video, make sure you guys simply like the video, subscribe if you guys haven't already, and I'll definitely catch you guys once again in a few hours or in a few minutes. <laughs> catch you guys then. Have a good one. Peace.